So, Wendy, Saftram, welcome to the Talent War Podcast. Thank you. And president of SHRM, but you know, we get to- SHRM Foundation. SHRM Foundation. Yep. (laughs) And we get to talk about my favorite topic, because veteran hiring and veteran initiatives. Great. And SHRM is such an, I mean, I don't even know to say such. It's the organization for doing great things in the human capital space. And since I'm a veteran enlisted officer, went on to create veteran programs. I'm so glad that my last day of the conference, I get to interview somebody doing something for my brothers and sisters in arms. So tell me about your role. Sure. And tell me about all the initiatives. Sure. So as you mentioned, I'm president of the Sherm Foundation and the Sherm Foundation is really, uh, well, we're the 501c3 philanthropic affiliate of Sherm, so big Sherm. And um, we really focus on mobilizing HR professionals to lead positive social change in the workplace. You know, HR professionals are so well positioned and I say have the opportunity and the obligation to do good and do well so that people and community and businesses thrive. And we focus our work in four key areas. Um, The first is what you would think a foundation for professional society would focus on scholarships, really developing the next generation of HR professional. We have mentoring programs. We actually have about 300 students on site uh, Uh, at Sherm's annual conference. So we're really proud of that. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. We're seeing a tremendous, I think, um, interest and a rising interest in students who are interested in pursuing HR as a profession because they're looking for jobs with purpose. And in fact, one of our taglines for the student programming is pursue your purpose. So we're very excited about that. You know, it's funny. One of the best quotes that we have in our book, The Talent War, How Special Operations and Great Organizations Went on Talent, is Tracy Keogh, who I used to work for at HP. Uh-huh. You know, somebody quipped to her and said, I'm glad HR's at the table. And she said, no, HR is the table. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. And yeah. I, I've loved it ever since. Yeah, yeah. But now people, to your point, even students are figuring out the the only thing that matters for your company is people. Right. People, culture, and, it drives everything. And I fell backwards into HR. So I'm kind of. I did too. I, it was like accidental. <laughs> somebody said, hey, you know, can you do recruiting? And I was like. Yeah, 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 I can do recruiting really well. Yeah. So it's great to see. And, you know, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but, you know, the talent work group, we do a lot of surveys. The number one job out there right now is for HR it's professionals. For HR. I think the, the everything that's happened over the course of the last two years where companies, organizations are realizing if they didn't have an HR function, right, within their yep. organization, and not all do, are realizing how incredibly important HR professionals are. They really are on the front lines, at least, of engaging and taking care of their workplaces, spaces, and their mm-hmm. people. As you said, there's the most important thing an oh, asset yeah. a business has. It, it We, uh, uh, the wonderful two producers of our show, had me <laughs> writing blogs. And, you know, it came up with this idea in the housing crash of 08. Mm-hmm. Everybody focused on CFOs. Mm-hmm. And so we wrote this blog that was the era of the CHRO. And to uh-huh. your point, the pandemic, the changing workforce, if you don't have strong HR, yep. You are so far behind the power curve, it's not funny, but I, I could go on about I the know. strategic so, initiatives I'll, 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 of HR all day. Well, I'll tell you a little bit more about the yeah, work of the foundation. So, so students, as I mentioned, and um, we've got students of all, I would say, ages. Um, we've got students who are non-traditional students, folks who have come back and decided to go to school to pursue a bachelor's okay. or master's in HR. And some of our students are right out of high school and have decided that HR is the profession of choice for them. And I am an HR professional. I say a recovering HR professional too. We're all recovering. Before I went into association and nonprofit work, I worked for Hyatt Hotels and I worked for Leo Burnett in Chicago. And I did recruiting just like you did. Wow. Um, So some of our other work is um, all around workplace mental health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And that is a huge topic. I I know we identified this two years ago at the foundation and at SHRM, knowing that as you know, as we eventually came out of COVID, certainly mm-hmm. everything else that our, our families and friends and people within the sphere of our care, if not ourselves, have been stressed and feeling, um, it was going to be once mental health. And again, HR mm-hmm. professionals have this tremendous opportunity and an obligation to at least support their employees who come to work, wherever that workplace or space may be, every single day. And um, not only HR professionals in that regard, but also helping people managers recognize signs of stress or distress on behalf of their employees so they can intervene at the earliest stage possible. That has got to be great work because one of the things that I've shared with talent acquisition professionals and HR professionals is 
we need to be out there thinking ahead of those issues. And that you guys were two years ahead. See, this is a great example of where <laughs> HR is just leading the way. And yeah. I love that. But you're, you know, the point of educating the hiring managers, yeah. we need to be consultants. We need to be leaders. We need to be sharing that stuff. So that is just it's Thank good. God you guys are doing it. This episode is sponsored by Talent War Group, a management consulting and executive search firm. We help you attract, retain, and develop your top talent because we know that the most valuable asset within your organization is your talent. With services like leadership development, talent acquisition and HR consulting, executive search, executive coaching, and keynote speeches, we work with you to create talent solutions to your most pressing business problems. You can get started by finding us at talentwargroup.com and let us help you develop your next generation of leaders. Also, if you like what we're doing here at the podcast, please leave a review as it helps us support and continue this podcast. It helps us support people who are really dedicated to improving their business skills and excelling above all else. team of people that's really there dedicated to taking care of their employees. And one of the things that I like most about this workplace mental health and wellness initiative is the opportunity to address the stigma that often comes with an individual if they are are challenged, they're feeling stressed, they're anxious. Mm -hmm. Um, We heard this morning at one of the breakout sessions, perhaps suicidal, you know, Mm -hmm. so the more that we can do to recognize the signs and intervene to get ahead of when an employee is struggling is, is so critical and, and it takes hr and people managers yeah and it, it's something that people have no idea how to handle exactly and they will tend to run away yep so yep. It's hugely and important work. so and so part of our work in, in terms of a pillar of work there are tools and resources on our website on the sherm website and the sherm foundation website Great. for hr professionals and people managers just as an aside uh, we also focus on skilling and reskilling so we're helping individuals who have been perhaps misplaced or displaced and are looking to get back into the world of work or into the world of work at all as quickly as possible. So this is a newer initiative for us, but we're working with HR professionals to think differently about the kinds of experience, right? Experience and degrees, um, uh, technical skills that they're requiring. Um, that a candidate have when they're interviewing I, I, I for like a job. I like the air quotes on the requiring. Because oh, that did was, I do that? that I like, loved it. It was <laughs> great was because <laughs> that's what we put in our book is we said, you know, experience mm-hmm. is only sometimes predictive of yep. your future success. It's yeah. your character attributes. You know, it's the DNA that you bring. Yep. And, you know, oh, I've, I've just beaten myself up just pounding that drum that you have to look for the talent. Yep. Don't look for those requirements. Yep, yep. You know, maybe there's something in their preferred, and you know we've we've made it a point. You know, you're not hiring an intern to be a CEO. Exactly, I, I, we get that exactly. experience does count. Exactly, but now with the shortage of talent, mm-hmm. reskilling, uh, reskilling huge. is huge. It's huge, and it's actually huge, uh, leading to my next pillar, which is untapped pools of talent. So, mm-hmm. um, individuals like veterans, members of the military yep. community, individuals who are disabled, individuals who have um, uh, been formerly incarcerated or impacted by the justice mm-hmm. system. And those populations or audiences are not necessarily disparate, right? Right. You could be a veteran who is disabled, who has been impacted by the justice mm-hmm. system. But the, the point of our whole untapped pools of talent initiative is to help those audiences get back into the world of work as rapidly as possible and help HR professionals and people managers create uh, hiring strategies that are designed to recognize and understand and be very open to those individuals who may be often faced with stigma and mm-hmm. bias when it comes yeah. to applying for jobs. And um, our Veterans at Work initiative was the very first one that the foundation did. Wow. I started about five years ago, and six years ago, we launched our first Veterans at Work initiative. Well, thank you for been, that as a veteran. So oh, thank you for doing for that. that. Yeah, <laughs> It's been really, really popular. In fact, we have uh, members of what we're calling our Veterans Ambassadors here on site at annual conference. And those individuals have expressed a deep interest and deeper interest in really taking on the role of being a trainer and training as many HR mm-hmm. professionals, as people managers as they can about the benefits um, of hiring veterans and members from the military. 
our community. You know, I've built a number of veterans programs and it was always the struggle to educate both hiring managers yeah. and HR professionals. And one of the things that I've said to HR professionals is we're not order takers. Right. <laughs> well, we are the experts in human capital. We have to find the talent. We have to find the attributes. Right. And I remember starting out, you would show a resume of a veteran. Yeah. They're like, why are you showing me this? How do you translate it? Yeah, how do you yeah. translate yeah. it? And educating, you know, HR, you know, professionals mm -hmm. to say, hey, listen, mm -hmm. it's not just that you're short talent. This is what talent looks like. Exactly. And it, it, I served, we called it the greatest leadership incubator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would never be where I am today if I didn't have the patience and the mentorship and the coaching that I got in the military, right, which was exactly. a fishbowl. Exactly. And so for me, it's been selling myself, but I, it's so great to hear that, you know, Sherm has been doing this because it, it's just the most passionate thing that I do is helping veterans. You know, an organization's ability to develop leaders internally is the number one determinant between failure and success. Talent War Group's Leadership Development Service builds a unique, sustainable system designed to establish a set of leadership competencies and train leaders to adopt behaviors required to drive exceptional results, while simultaneously improving your organizational culture and health. In fact, for every dollar you invest in leadership development, the returns are eight times that you're not gonna see a better ROI than in investing in leadership development. You can get started by finding us at talentwargroup.com and let us help you develop your next generation of leaders. And veterans come with such, and I'm actually a daughter. My father was in um, the army and both of my grandparents were in the army. And ironically enough, my dad, when he um, uh, came out of the military, became a CHRO. <laughs> and wow. my grandfather- That never happens, that and never my, happens. My grandfather was the director of personnel and he played the bass for the Denver Symphony Orchestra. So I've got a family and history wow. of veterans and of HR, which is kind of ironic. Um, but what I noticed and understand about veterans is they bring to jobs into companies this tremendous um uh this tremendous sense of of commitment to the mission yeah right? and of teamwork and leadership mm -hmm. and those things are inculcated in their souls and i mm -hmm. think that people need to realize and recognize that get beyond whatever bias or stigma they have but find ways you talked about resumes when you're interviewing Ugh, to yeah. get those stories and help veterans tell their story of how those kinds of characteristics they have applied while they were in service. So the HR professional can translate in their mind how those skill sets really will translate well to the workplace. Yeah, I spent so much time going to like TAP at ACAP centers yep, yep. and helping veterans be able to tell that story because I can't count, I mean, just when they get out, those transition services aren't where they need to be. Right. So I'm so grateful yeah. that SHRM is playing such a big role in this because you have to educate both sides of the equation. Yeah. Um, how does a veteran articulate, you know, what they've learned, what they bring to the table, be able to tell their story. Mm -hmm. And then we got to train people to listen to it exactly. because the stickability, the drive, the passion towards mission. Yeah. I, every survey that I've ever done on veterans for retention, it's always 10 to 15 points higher than the general yep, you're population. You're absolutely right. Yep, you're absolutely right. And companies that hire yeah. diverse talent pools are 35% more financially successful yeah. than companies that don't. So it's the right thing to do, but we always lead with the business case for hiring veterans yes. and individuals with disabilities and those who've been incarcerated. It makes good business, best business sense. So I know that we have a time hack, so yes. I'm gonna give you a great question okay. to close this out. So if you were to, because most of the people that end up listening to Tower War Podcast end up being either hiring managers, C-suite, and we found HR professionals. Okay. So if you were going to give your best advice, how to get that mindset right about hiring those untapped talent mm -hmm. pools of which veterans are part, mm -hmm. what advice would you be giving to up and coming HR practitioners? I would say um, to do your homework and do some research. We have tremendous research on our website through SHRM that we did in partnership with SHRM that talks about the value that veterans and untapped pools of talent bring to the workplace. Understand the value that you as an HR professional can bring into your place of work if you 
really deliberately set out to develop a strategy to hire veterans, mm -hmm. right? And I would also encourage HR professionals to know that one of the best ways to activate a DEI strategy, maybe your company's kind of trying to get mm -hmm. there, is to hire diverse populations, different veterans, yeah. perhaps. Um, you're more the reflective of your customer base when you have a diverse population in terms of employees. And people are more satisfied when they see themselves working with people who don't necessarily look like them, but are bringing different kind of lived experiences to the table. They're learning from one another, so you're developing happier employees, some total. It can just yeah. be, it can be incredibly inspirational to be an HR professional and have the ability to change somebody's life, even just one at a time. And, I, I think uh, that's what keeps me going yeah. all these, I hate to say decades. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm only claiming it for me. It's the yeah. only age reference I'm going to make. But, yeah. God, it, it, you really are changing people's lives. Yeah. You are, And I love the diversity that I came from in the military. Yeah. Um, you know, Mike, my co-author, and I say all the time, if everybody's thinking alike, nobody's thinking. Exactly. So having a diverse workforce. Well, I can't thank you enough for, well, first and pleasure. foremost, not just for coming on, but really for the work that you're doing with veterans because mm -hmm. it's been a lifelong passion of mine, and I'm so grateful for all that you guys are doing. Oh, thank you. It is truly an honor to lead a team at the foundation that we are so committed to this work, some total, and uh, I wish you a terrific rest of your day. Thanks so much. Thank you. And thank you for listening to the Talent War podcast where we discuss all things talent. Focusing on a talent mindset, the core belief that the only true competitive advantage you can hope to achieve and maintain is your talent. Join us for the next episode of the Talent War podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you like what you heard, subscribe and please leave a review. Connect with me on Talent War Group's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram accounts and send your comments and inquiries to media at talentwargroup.com. The Talent War podcast is brought to you by the Talent War Group, management, consulting, and executive search firm. We work with you, bringing services like talent acquisition, leadership development, executive search, executive coaching, seminars, speaking engagements, all to create talent solutions for your most pressing business problems. To get started, visit us at www.talentwargroup.com.